Hi there, Signs of Cancer. This is Kim here to do your reading. Hope you're doing really well. This reading is going to be for when it really resonates with you. So thanks for joining me. Let's get into your reading um, using the Rider Weight Tarot or the most traditional form of tarot that I could really find. And this is what I learned on, so. <sighs> All right, what's the issue with cancers? What's the issue? Clarity. Clarity, truth, clarity. And the energy of having some kind of hardship or challenge to overcome remember that is just the challenge and you hold the sword here you could look at this as like your um victory after a long battle let's say the sun energy here is coming up as the heart of the matter shining on everything one of the best cards in the deck it can mean anything that really is something very brand new to you. It can also represent divine guidance. And that could represent the sword of truth here. The challenge may be about people helping one another too with that five of pentacles. What's the past energy? Permit in reverse, so uh, this could be about in the past looking for your light and sources outside of yourself when it's always found within you. It's your decision whether to carry that light in front of you or not. <clears throat> Make sure that I can. The Queen of Cups here is in the reverse. So there is light shining on how you receive love or being open to receiving love, care um, from yourself, from others. The Queen of Cups in the reverse is if it's a character, then it's, it's somebody who just needs to take better care of themselves. And there I have the strength card energy for the future energy. Sword of truth, courage, strength, enlightenment. Confidence. But not overconfident. Infinitely creating things. What's the card that represents how you feel? Whoa. Page of Swords energy. So this would be about gathering more information, doing your own research. Also, being having wise discernment for what you believe in. You could look at these birds up here in the sky as being things that um, you have heard, but you are the one holding the sword. So it's up to you to decide whether or not you actually believe in, in whatever these birds up here are saying. I know it's a strange message, but... That's what I'm getting from that card. In your environment, justice energy, truth, clarity. One, two, three swords. So justice here, the scale's always being balanced. Um, truth, clarity.
regarding the ways that you need to take care of your health, exercise, and the way that you receive love. And that is, there's some truth to that of being open to receive being an issue. What is the hope or fear? The four of pentacle energy. Holding on to ideas that might be outdated. That might be something to fear in a sense. Because of needing to listen to yourself. Because remember, in the past, you didn't realize the light that you had. So therefore you didn't carry it. But when you realize the light that you have and you start carrying it, you can come out of your shell and stop being, um, what's the word? So guarded. What's the outcomes here? Two of swords energy altogether, five of swords energy. So internal conflict Coming to a peaceful resolution. And working on things, taking what didn't work from the past and what does work right now, and then working on it, building your craft, Getting better at what you do day by day. Putting in the time, attention, and detail into your work. So that you get the best outcome. The best profit, profitable outcome that you can get. Um, the Two of Swords energy has an awful lot of water behind it. And it blends in with the sky. Right? So... What this is telling me is that overall, it's a very emotional, peaceful resolution to come to. Seven of Swords in the reverse here on the bottom. All right, let's get the Hermetic Tarot now. Tell me about this hermit in reverse, please. Since it is the hermetic tarot for the hermit. There we go. We have the strength card. Fortitude. Good health. The number eight. Eight, eight. Finding the courage. Maybe that was in the past too. Because the courage never leaves you. It is in your reservoir, we could say, that you grab on it when it's needed. Tell me about that Five of Pentacles energy with the challenge. The Four of Wands and the reverse. Making big moves, shifts in perspective. Awaken, maybe, to soul purpose. What is the Page of Swords about here? Eight, <clears throat> sorry, Eight of Pentacles in the reverse. So, you are feeling like there is something that needs to be done to get things working better. or more, or more efficiently. Tell me about justice. Death card, closure, transformation. Closure, transformation, and 
I feel like it ties into needing to take better care of oneself here with this Queen of Cups in the reverse. And that might be the transformation, um, taking good care of yourself. And lastly, I think we need to clarify the Four of Pentacles because I think everything else is pretty explanatory here. Five of Pentacles in the reverse. This is what you're hoping for, is to move out of a financial hardship of some sort. So to move out of some kind of financial hardship might be the issue. And, and that might be what you're thinking about is how does this get better? So it's interesting how the challenge in your reading is directly tied to what you're thinking about right? Your hopes and fears. Meaning that these two can be almost like deleted by your own cognizance. So you can take these and just kind of like say, well, that's not a necessarily a challenge unless you want it to be a challenge. It's kind of coming across as pick your battles. Five of Cups in the reverse. Five of Cups reverse is letting go of clinging to the past. Also letting go of the things that didn't work, like the three cups that could have been spilt and realizing what cups you have left. I think that's pretty good. Page of Cups on the bottom. New hopeful beginnings for you. Okay, I have number nine. I am compassionate. Talking about your compassion that makes you shine. Since your soul is most satisfied when you're being of service to others. 19, I am a pioneer. Talking about independence and self-sufficiency. Talking about taking the risk to achieve the life that you desire. New beginning with the one and then two nines letting go of clinging to the past. Your messages repeat. All right, closing, to close out this reading. Clear sentience, having a clear feeling, having a clear feeling. Also star attunements for high spiritual healing, activation, ascension. All right, that is what I've got for you, Cancer. Uh, sorry, a little short today, but that is okay because I think it was a pretty complete reading for you. Sending you love and light. Bye-bye.